Welcome to Soccer Factory. Today we're talking about the truth about the injury prevention. Traditional bottom-up thinking is that we have to go to the gym and do gym stuff and everyone has deficiencies and everyone does the same workout because someone in somewhere came up with the great idea that this is what everybody has to do in order to prevent injuries and they are selling it that it would be the solution for you and for your injuries. That is a bottom-down approach. In the bottom-up approach, you are assuming that there is a problem even though we don't know if there is a problem. The other problem is that we start training more on top of the regular training instead of including it into the existing training sounds pretty counterproductive that you want to increase the training volume in order to prevent the injuries because fatigue is the biggest reason for the injuries in the first place so instead of training more you should include the injury prevention into your practice first of all the word injury prevention is already false because there is no way that you can prevent injuries in general the better approach the better wording for it it would be injury reduction so now we are reducing the injury risk instead of trying to prevent something what we can't even prevent but of course this is not a good selling strategy for the non-football coaches in a gym because injury prevention is a good scare tactic if you hear the wording injury prevention Oh my god we gotta do this because we're gonna be injured otherwise oh and if we are talking about injury reduction you're kind of telling that there will be injuries at some point even though that is the exactly opposite but of course the non-football coaches at the gym they have to use these buzzwords to sell you the product if you take tough down approach you will take football context as a starting point analyze your weaknesses and when your weakness appears then you start working on that particular problem from that point even Lionel Messi has deficiencies but it doesn't have negative impact in his football actions in football context you have deficiencies in football actions most likely you have a football technique problem and that's why you have problems on the field this means that we have to train your technique first. For example, you are weak at passing. Check if there is a problem in a passing technique, locking your ankle, toes up, and power comes from the hip before we go to the gym and start working on stronger muscles in ankles and hip. Or you might be slow at changing direction after your skill moves. For example, not bending your knees when you're changing direction. Analyze your skill move first and see if there is even a problem. If that doesn't help, then go to the basic movements without the ball. Using a video is a great tool to analyze your technique. It is very unbiased, it gives you right feedback whether your technique is correct or not. At the end of this video, there will be a link to how to pass properly and how to do scissor move properly. Because if we start with the gym first, the injury risk is still there due to improper technique. So if we didn't fix the problem in football actions, we are just masking the problem. Now you are increasing your chance of injury because you will have even stronger muscles and you're still having a weak passing technique. And ay ay ay, I feel sorry for your joints and ligaments when you get older. Keep in mind, in absolute terms, you might have movement deficiencies, but in football terms, you might not have any problems. When we are talking about injury reduction, we have to take football context as a starting point and take that in a football action and break that down into the individual football action. If your football action is weak and you're not able to execute your actions, check your technique first and if it's not the technique problem, then we have to take the actions out of the football context and do the basic movements without the ball. But not to make the non-football context as an object itself, it's there just to fix the problem so you can get back to football actions as fast as possible. This will be individually tailored injury reduction program for you and for your needs. And now I have three seconds to convince you to click those two links in this channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.